Hello everyone welcome back to Shahi Comics, and there are several mysteries and loose ends from previous MCU projects that only Marvel Studios' upcoming Armor Wars film can provide the answers to, and there are 8 major MCU mysteries that can only be answered by Marvel Studios' upcoming Armor Wars, Don Cheadle is set to reprise his role of Colonel James Rhodey Rhodes, also known as War Machine, in Armor Wars which will mark his 11th appearance in an MCU project after his debut in 2010 Iron Man 2, though the character had previously been portrayed by Terrence Howard in Iron Man, Rhodey has regularly been seen as a secondary character to Robert Downey Jr. Tony Stark, but Armor Wars will put him in the spotlight as he sets out to reclaim stolen Stark technology and solve several unanswered mysteries from previous MCU projects and Marvel Comics Armor Wars released between 1987 and 1988, and saw Tony Stark embark on a mission to retrieve his stolen technology that had been used by several armored villains. Elements of the Armor Wars storyline were borrowed for Iron Man 2, so it can be assumed that the MCU's upcoming Armor Wars will be adapted. Notably, Iron Man likely won't be involved in the live-action Armor Wars, but the project will explore his death in Avengers, Endgame and Rhodey's grief. Originally planned as a six-part Disney Plus series, Armor Wars' new theatrical production budget creates the opportunity for the film to investigate several more pressing MCU mysteries. And Armor Wars needs to reveal when Rhodey was replaced by a Skrull. And Cheadle's most recent appearance in the MCU featured Rhodey being outed as a shape-shifting Skrull in disguise in Phase 5 Secret Invasion, portrayed by Nisha Alia. Rafa had replaced Rhodey at some time prior to Secret Invasion, there is speculation that Rhodey was swapped with a Skrull immediately following his injury in Captain America, Civil War, as he can be seen waking in seemingly the same hospital gown in Secret Invasion, Armor Wars could provide some real confirmation whether Rhodey missed out on Avengers, Infinity War and Endgame, which could create some interesting layers of grief, as he would have slept through Thanos' attack, the five-year blip and Iron Man's sacrifice. And Justin Hammer's MCU fate can finally be revealed. And Justin Hammer was a smaller scale threat in the MCU's Iron Man 2, though he followed in his Marvel Comics counterpart's footsteps by providing resources to the bigger villain, Whiplash. As a business rival to Tony Stark, Justin Hammer is perfect for Armor Wars, particularly since he hasn't been seen since Marvel Studios' All Hail the King one-shot which featured him as an inmate in Seagate Prison alongside Iron Man 3 Trevor Slattery. Sam Rockwell's return to the MCU as Justin Hammer has been highly anticipated, so Armor Wars could provide insight into his whereabouts since Iron Man 3, and also explore his response to Iron Man's death. And Armor Wars will reveal which villains took Stark technology. And several villains are featured in Marvel Comics Armor Wars event, each having stolen pieces of Stark technology to enhance their own power, though it's unclear which villains might be included in the live-action Armor Wars, it's possible that Justin Hammer could return, but the likes of Force, Beetle, Shockwave, Stilt Man, Crimson Dynamo, Controller, Mauler, Professor Power, Titanium Man, Spy Master, and Edwin Cord haven't been introduced to the MCU yet, Doctor Doom is also involved in Marvel Comics Armor Wars, so it's possible that the highly anticipated supervillain could debut in the upcoming film, though nothing has yet been confirmed by Marvel Studios. And Armor Wars is the best place to explain where White Vision has been. Since Armor Wars is likely to see Rhodey seeking stolen and missing Stark technology, it's possible that White Vision could finally make his return to the MCU. Paul Bettany's vision was created by Tony Stark and Bruce Banner in Avengers, Age of Ultron, but was recreated in One Day Vision after his death in Avengers, Infinity War. White Vision's story is expected to develop in Vision Quest on Disney+, but Rhodey could seek him out in Armor Wars as he is perhaps the most valuable piece of Stark technology ever designed, providing some backstory to set up the Vision series. This could also kickstart the MCU's West Coast Avengers of which both Vision and Rhodey are members in Marvel Comics. And is War Machine still an Avenger in the MCU? And in the wake of Avengers, Endgame and the end of the MCU's Infinity Saga, the status of the Avengers team is unclear, and Marvel Studios isn't delivering a full-scale crossover event until 2026 Avengers, 
the Kang Dynasty. Because of this, it's unknown which superheroes will be included on the new Avengers, and this has become even more confusing now that so many new heroes have been introduced into live action. Armor Wars can confirm whether Rhodey's War Machine is still a member of the Avengers. If he was replaced by a Skrull after Civil War, his last memory would be the Avengers disbanding, so this must be explored in Armor Wars. And it makes most sense to finally return in Armor Wars. An advanced idea mechanic same was introduced to the MCU in 2013 Iron Man 3, but hasn't been heard from since, despite the organization being a persistent threat in Marvel Comics, in the comics. AIM are responsible for the creation of several villains, including Madoke, Betty Ross Harpy, the Red Hulk, and the Super Daptoid, and also has a connection to Man-Thing, who debuted in the MCU's Werewolf by Night. The organization is huge in Marvel Comics, and Marvel Studios has barely scratched the surface, so it's possible that Armor Wars could see a resurgence for AIM, particularly after Extremis had a more prominent role in Phase 5 Secret Invasion. And Riri Williams' MCU future can be confirmed in Armor Wars. And although Marvel Studios hasn't yet given confirmation, it's thought that Dominique Thorne Riri Williams will have a role in Armor Wars, as she used stolen Stark technology to design her Iron Heart armor. Williams debuted in Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, and is set to make her next appearance in her own Disney Plus series, Iron Heart. But Armor Wars would be the perfect place to introduce her to some of the MCU's more active superheroes, thought to be Iron Man's legacy hero in the MCU. Williams needs to have a role in several upcoming projects to make herself known, so it would be great to see her battling alongside Rhodey in Armor Wars. And what happened to Pepper Potts and Morgan Stark after Avengers, and Game? And Pepper Potts was always at the core of Tony Stark's adventures in the MCU. And Avengers, and Game even revealed that the pair had a daughter during the blip. However, neither Pepper Potts nor Morgan Stark have been seen since Stark's funeral in Endgame, so Armor Wars could explore what happened to them after. If Rhodey has no memory of anything after Civil War, there's no doubt he'd try and find Pepper, who may need to break the news to him of Stark's death. Even so, it's unknown whether Potts will suit up as rescue in Armor Wars or whether Morgan Stark will have a larger future in the MCU. And we're in the end of the video now, and another awesome video I will meet you again. Bye guys have a good day.